So in the last video that I posted, in the middle of the session, my chicken loop unlatched and my kite flew away. And what I wanted to do today was talk a little bit about why I think that happened and what you can do to prevent it. So after watching this footage over and over again, basically what you can see is that the latch on top of the chicken loop didn't fully close correctly, locking in place the bottom part of the chicken loop. And then when I got a ton of power on the kite, it just ripped out that misplaced chicken loop, causing the kite to basically fly away. Obviously I had my leash hooked in and so the leash catched it, the depower and the safety release all kicked in and the kite just flagged out. But ultimately I think the issue here was not getting a clean full clasp on the chicken loop. And so I'm gonna step through what I figured out and what I found from the comments from so many different people across all the different places I posted the video. So first thing you wanna check and recheck the chicken loop. And you wanna make sure that the chicken loop is fully closed. It's There's no crease or no gap here to make sure that it's fully locked down on this metal piece. So, try to close it, open it, close it again. All right, so now we know it's hooked in correctly and it's not gonna unlatch. Let's go out in the water and let's see what you should do if it unhooks while you're out in the water and you're just trying to salvage the situation. The first option is obviously to self-rescue and to just let the bar go and let the kite flag out and depower and just come down in the water. I got a few comments from the different posts about how to handle an unhooked situation without having to self-rescue, so we'll give some of those a shot. Here are both different types of spreader bars. Fixing the release that I had with the hooked bar is a lot easier. So all you have to do to fix it, grab your chicken loop, close it off, and if your spreader bar is down here, you just hook back in and you're riding again. In my situation, since I'm riding a surf spreader bar, it's a little bit more complex. So if your, your spreader bar comes unhooked, you can't just kind of click it back in and hook it in because of the loop. So here you have to slide it through, then you have to lock it. And this is what I show in the video. We're gonna pop the chicken loop. We're gonna push out the bar once it's unhooked. That's the most important thing is you don't wanna pull the bar all the way in and power up your kite. So if the chicken loop pops, push out the bar, pull the chicken loop back to you and rehook it. That's what we're gonna try to film. So we're popped. Power, power, I'm being pulled. No power. Shoot, the bar's all the way out. And what I'm gonna try to do is hook it down. Hook it down here. Hook it down here. All right, so let's get the kite to 12 o'clock. Now we're hooked back in. There we go. Hooked back in. Where's my board? Oh, it's all the way at the beach. There we go. So there you have it. Option one, do the safety release. Option two, if, you're, if you've got a hook, you should just be able to push out the bar, grab the chicken loop and hook it back in. Option three, which is what I just demonstrated with a surf loop, is the sketchiest. You probably don't wanna do that in really high winds. This is, a, this is kind of a medium wind day, but it's doable. And that was decently deep water, so. There's uh, some ways to get out of that pickle that I just didn't know about when it first happened to me. This core sensor bar, I've definitely some, seen some complaints online. I think it's the first year that they moved to this chicken loop kind of standardized shape. So maybe they're still working out some of the kinks. I had been out on this bar for over 30 sessions. Um, I'd been on a similar bar to this one for probably 20 or 30 sessions before that. Um, and it never happened, so I think this is something that's not going to happen again. If you have any thoughts on it, leave them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.